Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to talk about kettlebelling. Kettlebelling is a great topic because you can do so much under the realm of just kettlebelling. So I got a question, and the question was, is 10 minutes of kettlebelling a day enough in order to be in good shape? And the answer is yes depending on how good a shape you want to be in. The great thing about kettlebells and the reason that they have become so popular is that they solve so many problems for one activity. Kettlebells really became very popular when they kind of came back to America with uh, RKC and Pavel in 2001 because you're like, wow, you can really get a lot of stuff done in an extremely brief period of time, which nobody right then was doing. Everybody was using hammer strength machines and treadmills and all this crazy stuff, squat cages, very, very expensive equipment that took up a lot of space and a lot of time, right? You had to go somewhere to get access to that, which meant you had to get in a car, drive there, go there, spend a bunch of time there, get in a car, drive back. It became an extremely long process. Kettlebells came in and you could get one kettlebell. Let me grab one. You could get one kettlebell like this. This is an old RKC half pood kettlebell. And this one piece of equipment could solve most of the fitness that you actually needed in order to be healthy and functional. Kettlebells have six basic movements that you can do. A swing, a clean, a snatch, a squat, a press, and a get up. Like those are the original RKC six as they were called. And if you were to do those six movements, then you would be more fit than probably anybody in a big box gym. Because not only would you be able to do all the fundamental actions that humans should be good at, squatting, pressing overhead, getting up off the ground, picking things up off the ground, right? You would be able to do them all with one weight so you wouldn't have any weak spots in your structure. The problem that people had when they were using machines all the time was that they were super strong at pulling, but their back wasn't strong enough to support the amount of weight that say like their upper body could pull, right? Or they were doing a leg press machine and their legs were super strong, but the angle of the leg press machine was creating a structural weakness in their lower back. So they could press whatever, 600 pounds on the leg press machine, but they couldn't actually do anything in real life because their biomechanics were messed up from not actually being forced to balance or move in a natural range of motion. But if you can do your squats with a kettlebell and you can do your presses with a kettlebell and you can do your get-ups with a kettlebell, you do your cleans with a kettlebell, you become kind of equally strong everywhere. Kettlebells became very popular because if you can do, say, 10 minutes of a kettlebell exercise without stopping, then you are in very good shape. If you can do 10 minutes of kettlebell snatches, if you can do 200 snatches in 10 minutes, that is soul-crushing cardio that uses every muscle in your body and uses just your abs like crazy and you'll end up with a six pack and very strong shoulders. You'll stand all the way up, right? You'll have pretty good biomechanical alignment. So yes, if you do do 10 minutes of kettlebelling hardcore every day, then it does meet most of the fitness requirements that you need. Will you become, say, a CrossFit champion by doing that? No, because you don't have the specialized skills that you need to compete in certain things. But you do have a foundation of fitness, which is pretty badass. If you're using a half pood kettlebell, no, one pood kettlebell, one pood kettlebell is 16K is 35 pounds, 35, 36 pounds, right? You use that, you're pretty strong. If you get up to the intermediate weight, which is 24K, if you can do all of your movements with that weight as a man, you are stronger than most men you are going to encounter, right, in the normal modern world. If you can do it with a two pood kettlebell, which is a 70 pound kettlebell, you are now at an extremely high level of fitness. Right, your structure is very strong, your skeleton is very strong, and you are stronger than you really need to be to live in the modern world by far, even if you're like a mountain climber. You're, you're very strong at that point. So, can you get everything you need from 10 minutes of kettlebelling a day? Yes, but you're gonna actually have to know how to kettlebell, right? You're not gonna be able to just like pick it up and just like walk around with it, or you're gonna actually have to have a program, it's gonna have to be progressive, and it's gonna have to work. And some days, it's gonna take you a while to build up to 10 minutes of total work. The long way of that is 20 minutes and then you collapse it over time. It's volume cycles and density cycles. Collapse that information over time until you can get to that one 10 minute set. 
So I tend to tell people you could really work 20 minutes a day and then collapse it over time between 10 and 20 minutes as it expands and contracts as you get better at a, at a weight or at a skill. Yeah, you can do it. If you can do just bare minimum 10 minutes of Turkish get-ups twice a week and do 10 minutes of swings twice a week, that's two swing workouts, two get-up workouts, you would be in very, 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 very good shape compared to almost anybody that you're going to encounter because those movements contain most of the fundamental human actions that are required of the body. This is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica. Buy a kettlebell, learn to actually use it.